Welcome to the business class lounge in the Maldives airport. It's quite fancy and nice with these plush chairs as you can see. So I'm just chilling here with Yuru. <laughs> Today on Logan Lee Adventures. I love traveling with our business class passes. As you can see, we get to skip this long line and go straight to the front of boarding. The Maldives was a paradise, but now it's time to head onwards to a nearby teardrop-shaped country called Sri Lanka. They say catch flights, not feelings, but I caught flights with this guy who gave me the feelings. Alright! Got our Uber and now heading to our accommodation. Hey Sri Lanka! Oh, Colombo, where glitzy hotels rub shoulders with old colonial architecture, calm Buddhist temples, and we're here to explore the whole capital. Me and Jirun are just exploring the city, and we're in this very beautiful park, smack middle in Colombo 7, which is the neighborhood that we're staying in. It's quite a posh neighborhood, but this park is public and it's a stunning park. It's like so green, so clean, and there's people sitting in the trees taking naps. You can hear music, live music playing in the background as well. This is so lovely. This park is actually right in front of, I think it's the town hall or the city hall. It's very beautiful in the colonial style that it's created. Oh, look at all the tuk tuks too. Colombo is just unexpectedly so nice. I don't know what our expectations of it was before, but we had some friends that were like, oh, like, I just stayed a night in Colombo and left, or oh, I didn't really like it because it's a huge city, but it's a very lovely, beautiful city. It's not that chaotic or hectic at all. How many people actually live in the city? 650,000, according That's to Wikipedia. Tiny for like Sri Lanka's biggest city, but we're gonna be exploring and I'll show you guys around. So, yeah, I definitely want to see it as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is mango with ice cream on top and avocado smoothie. And we don't know what this is. It's orange. <laughs> but it's a mixture of drink. Yeah, the mango is really orange. It's like papaya. Yeah. And this has some seeds in it and ice cream on top of it. Mmm. Yep. Wow. This is so proper. It, it tastes like the Vietnamese avocado shake that we had. Mm. Mm. In the middle of this park, we have an aquarium, which is pretty cool. It's a tiny aquarium, but me and Bruno are going to be exploring the aquarium right now. And look at all these fishes. <laughs> Big or small, every temple is home to legends of the past. Intrinsic artistic details and beautiful carvings that represent the ancient traditions and customs that still subsist in the present day. Each of these temples offer fascinating insight into the Sri Lankan culture, and although some of them are over a millennium old, the ruins and pillars still evoke a sense of mystery and wonder to those who visit them. The 120-year-old Gangara Maya is not the typical Sri Lankan temple. The temple is mostly celebrated for its lavish architecture and statues showcasing Sri Lankan, Chinese, Thai, Burmese, and many other artistic styles. Hey guys, we just made it to the second temple. And this temple is built on top of a lake. Travel literally forces us out of our routines and in doing so, gives us the freedom to see things with fresh eyes. Here, a Buddhist temple sits on a lake in the middle of the capital city. The temple is mainly used for meditation and rest rather than worship. Of course, it's still a beautiful place for prayers. Now we're crossing over and exploring Bira Lake. I hope from watching our videos, you'll get curious about these places that we go to and want to explore them for yourself as well. We're in Colombo 11, which looks like a local shopping district with an open market. And it's definitely the hectic Sri Lanka that I pictured. It's sweet, isn't it? No, 
Yeah. It's like a juicy. I mean, it's juicy, but yeah, it's like a squishy texture as well. <laughs> Mango seed. It is said that the Red Mosque has been a landmark for sailors approaching the port of Colombo ever since it was built in 1908. The domes are built in the shape of pomegranate and the colorful brick patterns are meant to convey the same image. Such a sight from the frenzy streets of Peta. Yuru and I have to take off our shoes and wash our feet since we are in a mosque. So, uh, this really cool mosque, I just have to whisper because prayers are going on. But the architecture of this mosque is, as you can see, is stunning. It's built like a candy cane, a wonderland. Our tuk tuk driver dropped us off at the National Museum. So we're gonna explore this cool white building, this old colonial style, style building in the middle, literally in the heart of Sri Lanka, the heart of Colombo at least. This museum actually has 12 galleries going from prehistoric Sri Lanka all the way to modern day Sri Lanka. And it's housed in this amazing just stunning beauty. Yeah, it's kind of like a maze. It's quite fun and you walk through the whole building up and down and all around. And I think we're on the sixth or seventh gallery right now. Colombo is the gateway to the rest of Sri Lanka. So hit subscribe for our next video on more of the capital leading into our exploration of the rest of Old Ceylon. If you enjoy this, give it a like and leave a comment. I love replying to your messages. Catch you on the next episode of Logan Lee Adventures.